And welcome back guys, uh, making another video uh, after my previous video of finishing up planting with my 9520RX, uh, <laughs> I call it the super size planter, uh, this is the biggest planter setup I have currently. Uh, and so I just finished this field in the last video and uh, finally check off that box and right now I'm going to get in this and uh, drive it back to the main farm and then I'm going to pull out a special piece of equipment that I just acquired aka or uh, also known as a uh, mod that I downloaded and uh, check it out. I'm actually pretty excited to see how it performs. So let's first fold up the planter. There we go. Flashers. It's going to be taking it down the road. <laughs> Pretty amazing how this thing folds up so compact. Okay, that's folded up, and we're going to finally get out of here. This tractor, oops, I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going to clip this guy's field. <laughs> and yeah, finally get this, all this equipment out of here. This has been sitting over at this field for quite some time. Uh, due to low temperatures, still early spring, so um, finally, uh, finally moving it again. And uh, I say low temperatures. I've, I have the seasons mod turned on, and uh, I was planting canola. And according to the seasons mod, well, I mean, and also real life, but the seasons mod said there was only a certain temperature that you can plant it's birds nut. On the river. There it goes. <laughs> There's a certain temperature that you shouldn't uh, plant no at. Hang on, a little bit. Ah, I don't even slow down. Just like real life. <laughs> the AI, AI uh, car traffic represents real life. People don't care that you're <laughs> moving your equipment down the road. That's okay. Luckily, we don't have to go down busy roads, uh, except this one. And right now it's looking cleaner, so I'm gonna, yeah, okay, I'm good on fuel. I have to check uh, how much fuel this consumes, this tractor. Uh, it's only got six hours on it now. Um, I haven't been in this machine in a while besides just finishing up planting. Uh, but I don't think it consumes too much fuel, I don't think. But uh, definitely happy to have this. This is a beast of a machine to uh, plant big fields in no time at all. And the next job for this machine will be um, my biggest field that I own, uh, which is over there behind the biodiesel plant. Uh, I think that'll be the next stop for this machine. Uh, but I'm going I'm to go ahead and take it back to the main farm now. Um, just to park it there for a bit and also get in the uh, mod or the new machine that I have acquired and uh, gonna hook it up to a planter and see how it uh, see how it goes. So I could uh, I could just hmm, could just park this here, but. No, I'll go ahead. Well, that wouldn't make more sense. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just take it down to the main farm, or the main shop, rather. i probably turn off my uh, blinkers here. I know that sound can get annoying. Okay. Love how this, yeah, this whole setup just folds up so well. It uh, just goes down goes down the road really well. Uh, I forget what planter that is. I actually have to, you know, I don't know off the top of my head. I mean, um, but uh, I'm very, very happy with this setup. You can do massive fields, no problem at all. Uh, and this particular uh, machine, the 9520 uh, articulated setup means you can just turn on a dime and 
in the planter too will just I mean just rotates it's like it's amazing so I could actually use this machine in this field but um, no I've got my I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll drive past it actually I've got the other machine up here um, my I guess my medium sized planter <laughs> uh, I've got my medium sized planter set up and that'll be planting this field which is a mix of canola and cover crop uh, oil seed radish which is there and maybe I should I might end up buying another planter just a real small one for the uh, for the new new uh, machine that I haven't even tested out planting yet I don't even know all the machines off the top of my head. This is, uh, well, yeah, I know that's the Great Plains. And I don't know if I mentioned it in previous videos, this planter right here that I'm looking at, uh, the Great Plains one that's attached to my, uh, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> 7310, <laughs> I knew that. My 7310 on the uh, Great Plains, this is a special mod planter that I downloaded. It is able to plant through cover crops. Um, I realized that the planters that are come with the sim come pre-installed are not able to plant through uh, this what I call cover crop my old seed radish it's not able to plant so I this is a special mod I think it looks pretty similar to the stock version but um, I was happy to discover this so it is more realistic in the fact that it can actually plant through what I call cover crops uh, my cover crops and uh, plant new seeds so really really excited to have that uh, just adds a little bit more realism to the operation and capability so yeah i uh that is probably one of my favorite planters uh, just because of the fact they can do that so but yeah let's get to the uh let's get to the machine i was talking about earlier that is yeah well that is another mod that i that wasn't the mod i had in mind when i started the video but I did want to share that because it is really cool that that exists as a something you can add to your add to the sim. Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of room. I hope I don't block the uh, planter. I think that's the planter I'm going to use, <laughs> the beat up looking one. Uh, I I downloaded the uh, or added the mod of purchasing used equipment, so. That is the current state of the used uh, planter. Small, I guess you can say it's my small planter out yeah, there. Okay, we're out of the way here. Go ahead and shut this down. And make sure our lights are off. Okay, and yeah, so this is the used planter. Again, this is not the mod I'm, I, don't, I just need to go ahead and get to the mod I'm actually talking about that I'm uh, excited about, but this is the used uh, used planter that I bought, so definitely looks a little beat up, uh, and I have to check if that's even mechanically sound to go, or does it need uh, some work from the mechanic shop? We'll have to see. This is it right here. This is what I was talking about the beginning of the video. This uh, <laughs> special special seventy oh seventy two thirty. Um, <laughs> modified with the giant trike wheel on it um, so yeah this thing is pretty wild and uh, I'm gonna point out today see how it performs and probably hook up the old planter to it or just take it for a spin but uh, yeah I'm, that I'm wondering the tur turning radius on that compared to the uh, 9520 articulated tractor uh, so yeah we'll, we'll see how how it performs of course, slow turns because I'm, um, uh, you know, uh, in my experience, trike, tricycle, uh, tricycle setups are not the best for fast turns, so we don't want to be doing that and risk a flip over. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it performs. Another thing too, that planter might actually need seed, the small one. Uh, 
All right, let's get it started up, pull it out, and get some dirt on it. It's a little too clean sitting in here. And it's got zero, oh no, 0 0.1 hours. And I absolutely love the sound of these, uh, this series tractor starting up. And idling too, I just love everything about uh, this series. 7310, 7230, just really, really just enjoy driving these. It's good. Oh yeah, plus I've got that little goofy looking light bar up top. See so yeah, how this thing, watch this thing, this thing just like, <laughs> it's pretty wild. And of course, uh, yeah, the attention to detail there, um, the original drive axle still rotates, which, uh, yeah, I guess it should, right? Because according to my dash, it's in four-wheel drive at the moment, and I'm uh, not sure how I'm going to, uh, yeah, I forget how to turn that off right now, but that's right, we'll just leave it in there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just going to check. Oh, plus I've got the tree plant right there, up to it too. I think there's enough room in here to attach this. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Back it over here. See if we've got any seed. If not, um, might just take it for a spin. Oh, there's my dog. Might as well feed the dog while I'm over here. Feed my buddy. There you go. Yeah, plus the original headlights, I guess, are still in there. Yeah. Definitely a cool-looking mod. Home-built. <laughs> and also, yeah, so that is one thing that just occurred to me, that this is definitely a two-wheel drive vehicle now. Uh, well, yeah, because the, obviously the front wheel is not providing any traction. Uh, is not uh, not part of the drive system anymore. I guess my quick disconnect mod is turned off at the moment. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so yes, <laughs> the little red text uh, at the bottom of my screen is showing this thing is not mechanically sound. Plus, there's no seed, um, so this actually needs some um, TLC. Um, but yeah, you know what, what the hell, we'll just, we'll take it out for a spin. I'm still running through the, uh, running through the field. Wow. It is a little freaky seeing that, yeah, this is, uh, well, it's, one thing is nice is that the, you have better visibility right there, right, where there would be the front, front, uh, front wheels, front tires, uh, would be there, so give you a little more downward visibility. And that's why well, it's one visually different thing. Uh, but yeah, on the hills, might be a different story on hills how this thing performs. I get, oh, you know what I can do with like a side by side comparison here. And show you, let's see how quickly. And this thing is really just, yeah, I've got to be careful with tight turns for this plant here. That is probably the limiting factor, actually, not turning too tight uh, and just damaging the equipment that is attached. Let me get back up here and do a little comparison since they are the same series. All right. So this is, yeah, essentially the same exact tractor, just the 7230 is a little lower horsepower, but. Yeah, it's the same machine, just you got this uh, extra extra thing hanging on the front and missing the front wheels, or these wheels. Oh, and I guess, yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the duals, I've got the wider tire on this one, so. But, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> it's giving uh, this uh, front uh, it's making me think of like an old John Deere Gator, just the way this is shaped. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. To make off the top of my head, it's what it reminds me of, just the headlights. It's square. Uh, okay. 
be able to just run through this field. Obviously, there's no seed, but we'll just run a path. I don't even, I don't even think it's going to do anything. Nothing's even going to happen because. Oh, okay. <laughs> Might have to get in my help menu for a second here. Okay, lower. Oh, okay, plus we've got the ridge marker too, this thing. <laughs> See if it does anything. Yeah, it's all the controls. Okay, let's knock that. Uh, knock that cruise control down a bit. And then I start at seven. So yeah, of course this is not uh, not configured to plant through an existing cover crop because uh, it wouldn't be turning brown behind there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it would. I think that's how the sim does that. Just overrides whatever is uh, being pulled through. But the marker goes through, that's interesting. So I'll pull that up. Of course, that makes the other one go down. Oh, yeah, I gotta pull it up. Yeah. Yeah, the tight of the turn we can do here. <laughs> yeah, that makes, uh... Wow. <laughs> We're right in line, aren't we? I oh, know, sorry, that's... Oh yeah, no, that would be... Yeah, the ridge mark is for the center. Right? Wow, man, I have it. Ooh, man, the thing rocks quite a bit. <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about the ridge marker was meant to be with the center of the hood. Got that detail? Yeah, you know, this thing rocks back and forth quite a bit in the smallest hills and bumps. So that's a little interesting. Okay, well, I know it doesn't look like it did anything, and it didn't, but I've actually never pulled this through the field, and kind of satisfying just seeing some dirt on it, so. <laughs> but yeah, this will be, uh, so I'm thinking of using this as like, a, you know, small plots, experimental seed, or crops, and just, you know, filling in gaps and things, so of course it needs to be, uh, needs to be given a little bit of love. Um, according to my little maintenance maintenance tool that tells me uh, what the condition of the machines are. This one is down in the red, it's 30%, so it uh, should probably park it inside. And I think that's how I repair it. You do repairs. Of course, you, you know, you're just going to sit right in the way, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Thank you. Don't want to you know, get too close to my very expensive tractor. I think this will back in. Yeah, this would be handy for just as a resident machine. You know, you can easily move around a bunch of other equipment attachments. Uh, get them parked very, uh, very nice and neatly. Got that really nice turning capability. Squeeze stuff into tight spaces. So it definitely doesn't look like it fits, but <laughs> it should. Yes. 
Alright, we'll just leave that right here. Let's see if we can uh, do repairs on it. I think that's how you do it here. Let's take a look. If we can have all this works. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's the option for repair, but I don't care about the pallet. <laughs> huh. Oh, wait. How's this work? Nope. I, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. Maybe I have to drive it down to the shop to do repairs. <laughs> hmm. Perplexed as to what I need to do. Used to be able to you could toggle through the different equipment. Alright. Well I'm already at twenty some minutes, so that might be another video. And of course I uh do want to go back to the Felsbrun farm. Do some work over there before it becomes full planting season here, so yeah, we'll leave that there for now. First time using both of these both of these uh pieces of equipment, so First impression, it might have its uses, um, but in very special cases. Um, but yeah, pretty cool idea nonetheless. So I love testing all these different mods, and uh, I always end up keeping the ones that I really like that have uh, have good function. So, all right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, maybe uh, over at Felsbrunn.